Welcome back to Keep Calm and Bake. My name's Caroline and I also do a YouTube cooking show. Now, at this episode, I'm gonna teach you how to make some raspberry and white chocolate cookies. There's not that many ingredients to this recipe, which is good. I've got fresh raspberries. I'm gonna use fresh raspberries and some white chocolate. I'm gonna put them to one side because we don't need them till after we've finished the dough. For the dough, butter, self-raising flour, caster sugar, and condensed milk. 225 grams of unsalted soft butter going into my food processor, my mixer. Oh, there you go. 225 grams of caster sugar going in. And we're going to use half the tin of this condensed milk. So this is approximately 400 grams. So about just under 200, 190, let's say. There we go. I do guesstimate a bit. There we go. Beat these together until it becomes light and fluffy. Super, that is light and fluffy, as you can see there. I'm gonna add my flour. So I'm gonna do this in two batches. So I'm gonna pop half of it straight in, and we're gonna slowly start blending this all together. Okay, next lot going in. You can find all the quantities and the full recipe in the description box. Excellent. As soon as the flour is mixed in, you can stop beating. It doesn't need to be really well beaten like a cake batter. You just want to make a nice soft dough like this. There you go, see? That's perfect. It's like Play-Doh. Now for the fun part, you can roll the dough into balls and I'm going to pop them onto a baking tray. So I, I'm going to use about, probably about that much, just like a dessert spoon, a heaped dessert spoon full will be plenty because you've got to remember they're going to spread out once they start cooking. So that's going to go straight onto my tray, squish it down a little bit like that. And now you can add your raspberries, there's the fun bit, raspberries going in and I'm not going to eat it. I'm going to put it into the cookie. <laughs> Yum. Okay, so just a couple of bits there. And then what we'll do, we'll get some of the dough. I just want to squish it. You can squish it back down again, just so it kind of encases it a little bit. Keep going until you've used up all the mixture. And then they're going to go straight into the oven. Now, the nice thing about this recipe is that you can experiment and put whatever bits in that you like. So. Do let me know what uh, you would love to see in a cookie. Maybe it's blueberries. Maybe it's just chocolate. So, something for everyone. Make them your own. But yeah, I love hearing from you guys. So, write your comments below. Look at all these cookies. So this mixture makes about 22, okay? These are gonna go straight into the oven. Oven is on 180 degrees C, and I'll put all the other conversions on the recipe for you. And they're only gonna take about 10 to 12 minutes. So you need to keep an eye on these to make sure they don't burn. My cookies are out of the oven. Now don't forget to hit subscribe to get plenty more recipes like this. And also, you can take a look on my YouTube cooking channel for tons more recipes. I hope you all really enjoy these and see you next time. Da -da.